This is we celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Germany. <laughs> With green beer. It did? Okay, good. How many answers you gave? Are there too many? <laughs> A lot. A lot. Let's see here. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Ha. This is my center of operations, my desk. Jeez, Nancy Drew. It's locked. It's locked. Go ahead and poke around. There's if you want to know the particulars <laughs> of how I do what I do, Ziggy, take a look at the you. book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real. What is this? Oh, hey. This was from the Japanese game. Um, all right. So... We are currently on number, hold on. We're on case number 23. So there's 23 games, but there's so much more than that. Oh no, we're on 24, we're on 24, we're on 24. All right, are we ready? Here, no, we have to click this first. For centuries, a fearsome monster has been stalking Castle Finster. Legend oh. has it that once it is on the prowl, it won't return to the woods until it finds a new victim. A wealthy German investor, Marcus Baum, has called me to Castle Finster to help him scare out the truth in this bizarre and terrifying case. Dang. Hey. Ooh, terrifying chat. Terrifying. I'm gonna stop on my on the way to work to get some green food coloring. <gasps> That's such a good idea, Mac, for St. Patrick's Day. So they can order a green beer. Ooh, that's cool. Or green whatever. The correct answer is not enough. Actually, you know that's so true. Cause people like us who've played the majority of them, there's just not enough. There's not enough. I love this. Saturdays, I'm so tired from my... Sundays, I'm so tired from my Saturday job. And watching Kylie play Nancy Drew is a perfect way to veg out. Aw, thanks, Madrona. All right, let's begin, guys. Germany, a long time ago. Oh, this is that girl. <laughs> She's picking some mushrooms. Mushroom cooking? Uh oh. A creepy man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> run, girl, run! Germany present day. Oh, our lucky day. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, F, F to that girl. Okay, let me turn it down just a little bit more. It's locked. Okay, is that better? <laughs> Game is off to a start. Oh, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me move my camera down a little bit because it looks like there's... Like some currency that you would want to see. I don't know what that is, but there it is. Okay, all right, let's ring the doorbell. G. That is a creepy door doorbell Hello? sound. Hello? Open up, please. No, thank you. We already have one. What? What? Uh, what? Girl Scout cookies? Nancy Drew, please let me in. <clears throat> this is Lucas. Please let me out. What? What? Is this what you sound like when you say that? What? Can I talk to someone else about coming in? <laughs> no! But if you can find the match, maybe I'll let you in. All right. The match? Check match? Oh, we have to match the... Uh... Oh. Uh... These two? Yeah, this is this. I got it. <laughs> okay. What's with this kid? I it. Nice job. Now for part two of your test. Sorry, yes! Meg. Is the you volume better? Go. 
he passed. Good job. Nancy, sorry about Lucas. I'll have a little talk with him later. Come meet me in my study on the second floor. <laughs> Thanks. I want that person's workout routine to be able to just yoink an adult like that. <laughs> yoink. It looked like Frankenstein. Can I not look around? Okay. Wow! Look at this area, guys. How cute. Ooh. Is that the basement? Let's look at the well. Is somebody creepy gonna come out of this well? He's gonna get the belt. Oh god. Oh, I found something! Or I thought I found something. It didn't go in my inventory. I found a toy. D. Oh, I think we're gonna need to know these after. Why are you bothering us? I will go away now. Dang, is it because it's nighttime? Oh, what's this? <gasps> ESL musical notes quiz. Gretel. Oh, interesting. I guess that'll help us with music notes. <clears throat> wow, look at this castle or house or whatever you would call it. What is this? Beyond the Tales, the Brothers Grimm. You want me to read it to you? Let me read this book to you guys. Librarians, professors, folklorists, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm, better known as the Brothers Grimm, were born a year apart in Hanau, Han Hanau, Germany in 1785 and 1786. Their childhood was a relatively happy one until their father died. When the boys were in their early teens, after his death and the death of their grandfather shortly thereafter, the family struggled to make ends meet. Eventually, both Jacob and Wilhelm attended the University of Marburg to study law. It was here at the university where the brothers' interest in collecting folk and fairy tales was first peaked. While traveling in France as a research assistant for one of the professor professors, Jacob became fascinated by a German manuscript of old stories he had found. Interested in keeping the tales and the culture alive, Jacob and Wilhelm began their search for other such tales. The brothers solicited to help from their uh, the brothers solicited help from their friends as well as trips to the surrounding countryside in order to obtain as many tales as possible. A large majority of the tales came from female acquaintances such as Dorothea Wilde and the Has Haspenflug sisters, Emily and Jeanette. The first edition of kind Kinder und Hasmarchen, Children's and Household Tales, was published in 1812 and contained 86 different tales. With the success of the first edition, the Brothers Grimm continued their search for additional tales, though they attempted to keep the tales as true to the original telling as possible. The first edition was thought to be unsuitable for young children. As a result, each subsequent edition of the book was edited slightly in order to make the stories more suitable for all audiences. The second edi in, uh, edition, released in 1815, contained 70 new tales and five more editions followed over the years. The final seventh edition had 210 tales seen today, still seen today. The fairy tales were not the only well-known project from the Grimm's. They also started work on Dutch Waterbuck, a detailed German dictionary that traced the origins of German words, though they were only able to publish a small portion of the massive undertaking in their lifetimes. The dictionary was such a large project that it wasn't completed until nearly a hundred years after their deaths. Jacob Grimm also invented Grimm's Law, a formula that explained how consonants changed across languages. By the end of the 1850s, Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm had received numerous honors and rewards, were members of the Göttingen Seven, been libraries to the king, and respected throughout the world before their deaths in 1863 and 1859. Their names live on forever as one of the m foremost folklore t collections of all time. <sighs> A lot of reading. That's what I say when someone knocks on my door. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> 
Leave me alone. What's in here? Oh, is this the store? Oh, hello. Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, sorry. No, no. I am the one to apologize. Carl, the Burgermeister, is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, Burger like the Meister. language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya, the Castellan. I'm in charge of guest services. I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... What's it? A strong heart. What do you mean? What? You don't know? The mayor? Then it's nothing. Oh, thanks, Ian. It must be something, or you wouldn't have said anything. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. And safe time, she says. Safe. Why is everyone a little spooked right now? Why is everyone a little spooked right now? Oh, it's... Well, I suppose you'll find out about it anyway. I might as well be the one to fill you in. Mind you, don't get upset. Are you the easily frightened type? No. No. Good. You tell me Good. if you were. There's nothing wrong with being scared. I'm not. Promise. <laughs> Okay, good. But you, <laughs> you do shouldn't not have need to worry about this, I'll try my best. <laughs> How do you say this? There is a monster situation potentially taking shape. A monster situation? Well, that's the buzz Happy around St. Patrick's the castle. Day deal. You need background. V, this castle, has a history. Legend around here says that a monster lives in these woods. Ooh. Once in a great while, he returns seeking a victim. People think that time is now. Wow. Hi, DJ. What makes everyone think the monster is coming here now? As long as I've been here, people always pointed out signs of his return. Cows would go missing. Flocks of sheep would disappear. Claw marks would appear on the trees. Everyone would say, oh, The monster will be here soon! But when he doesn't come, everyone calms down and forgets about the legend until strange things start happening again. Are strange things happening now? Yeah, but uh, different this time. How so? The signs are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's spooky. I heard once that before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just know. That is what it is like this time. We all just know. That's scary. Uh, what can you tell me <laughs> there's about a lot the of questions. I don't know, Nancy. A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. Why not? Not sure. Maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they did and they don't want to remember. But... Everyone will tell you about the strange things that have been going on. Like what? Look, I could get into a lot of trouble for telling you things like this. Can you promise me that you won't tell anyone that I am telling you this stuff? I promise. <laughs> I promise. Okay. Wink. For the last little while, there have been these weird howls from the woods. The sound... It's no animal I've ever heard of, and it is definitely not human. It Ugh. sounds... I don't know. Is it a werewolf? At night, you can hear the thing. It's circling the castle, getting closer each time. It's terrible. Howls, you say? Is it Jacob Black? What's a Castellan? I'm in charge of the overall guest experience here. Carl, who you may have met earlier, is the Burgermeister, sort of like the mayor. I haven't or, met him. I mean, that's what he would really be if he actually did any work. I'm sorry, that wasn't really appropriate. Long day. I'll talk to Thanks. him more later. later. Bye, Nancy. Bye. I wanted to look around. Oh, see, it's Frankenstein. So I guess it's more of a Frankenstein thing. Interesting. Got a little cuckoo clocks. 
The art of glass. Ooh, what's huh? this? I wonder what this says. Maybe the pictures will help me figure out how to crack this code. What pictures? Oh, the sun or whatever? All right, let's go find the mayor. Where's the mayor? Oh. Nancy, it's Ned. Hi, Ned. Sorry, the reception is a little bad here. <gasps> so when are you getting in? I've got the perfect romantic getaway plan for the two of us. Took a lot of work to put together, but it's gonna be worth it. Well, there's been a hang-up. Sorry. Of course there has. <gasps> Does mean I have to cancel our plans again? Yes, but I promise I'll hurry home as soon as possible. I've heard that Nancy. one before. I'm sorry I can't be more available, but I'm in the middle of something pretty important here. So what? I'll just hang out at home being bored? Nancy Drew, International Sleuth, gets to go out adventuring, while Ned stays at home. Again. I'm sorry you're not having a better time. If you're not having fun, then go out and have fun. Nancy! You know what? Forget that I even said anything. I can see that I'm not that important to you. So forget it. Fine. Fine. That was not great. Oh my god! Is Nancy breaking up with Ned? Oh no! What the heck? That was not good. Ooh, what the heck? Fire, fire, fire. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> is this the study? This place is big. Where am I? Ooh, this is cool. The snake. Jai, thank you for the tier three. And the 39 months, hi. I know, drama. How are you doing today? Happy St. Patrick's Day! Castle Crier. Mark your calendar. Only two days remain until the start of Di Di Ung Her Okay. Not festival. Celebrating another year with no return of the legendary terrifying monster. The annual event kicks off with the traditional cattle release back into their pastures. Activities and entertainment continue throughout the day with our own local stars. Polka Prowess headlining the event performances in the main courtyard. The complete festival schedule and competition sign up sheets will be available at the information booth during the festival. Experience the fun, celebrate the life. Oh, German vocabulary. This week is Bite. The solar system? German vocabulary Bite. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, so sun is the sun, comet, der comet, I'm probably butchering this because I don't know, know German. Der Mond, der planet, der stern, die Erde, das Sonnensystem, die Astronomie. Community poll, do you believe the monster is real? 89% said yes. Malevolent monster may manufacture mob mentality. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, a monster's terror has again descended on our fair castle, leaving many to wonder if the fabled monster has in fact returned. No, I do not think so, said Carl Welschler, the castle burgermeister. Every now and again, these stories come bubbling back up. Most times, it's nothing. Welschler's voice may sound confident, but his eyes betray a certain worried expression whenever the monster comes up in conversation. We've taken all precautions. We're ready for everything. The upcoming festival should be a time of fun, not fear. While generally the annual festival is a time of celebration and chance and a chance to host excited visitors from around the globe, this year's event is promising to be an altogether drab affair. There is only one time I've seen the castle this empty around festival time, Wesler continues, and that was the year of the accident. Frequent readers may be surprised to hear Weschler make reference to the accident, a topic he's been extremely tight-lipped about since that fateful fall evening years ago. Perhaps the looming shadow of a malevolent monster is enough to dredge up unpleasant memories all around, no matter how deeply buried they may be. 
In addition to unpleasant memories, a new threat seems to be building behind the castle walls. Officials worry that the atmosphere of fear and worry may cause castle residents to react violently if provoked. Ooh. <laughs> Rude Ned, I honestly think Nancy could have said something better. I blame Nancy, not Ned. I blame Nancy. The way Nancy's tone was like, well, I have stuff to do here. Like what? It just sounds so off-putting. Oh, it's Mima. Nancy Drew, is it? I understand you and I have much in common. I'm not so sure. I don't believe we've met officially. Meet officially? What? With papers and a stamp? What is this? Meet officially? <laughs> Silliness. I am Renate. Officially. And you are Nancy. Officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, maybe? No, that's all right. <laughs> what did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You're here for the monster, yes? What monster? What monster? Should we act dumb? You know what? Let's just say yes and agree. Yes. This, this is not a wise thing to do, especially not for you. What do you mean? Let me tell you what I know. Hi, You're here Nico. for the monster. Hi. Now I tell you something you don't know. This monster, he's here for you. What? What makes you so sure of that? Why me? <laughs> I'm a storyteller, Nancy. I deal in fate and tragedy. And when a young girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. We can't even ask I Ned to know. save us. Leave while you still can, Nancy. I'm not going to do that. I didn't think that you would. You're part of this story now. Okay, all right, Mima. Good morning, Jai. Been enjoying watching you play these good old Nancy Drew games. Well, that makes me so happy. Thank you. Yeah, we can learn. We can learn German with Nancy Drew. Miss Magnolia's German cousin. They they do look similar, don't they? <laughs> I feel like Miss Magnolia May would say that she she's aging way faster though. <laughs> I hope. Hi Ninja. Hi. I'm really happy you're streaming. Well, thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys are having a good St. Patrick's Day. Do y'all do anything for St. Patrick's Day? By the way, do y'all celebrate anything or do anything special just for fun? Or for seriousness. Hi, Sir Swings. Um, we're gonna come hey, back to Mima. Goodbye. I'm trying you. to find the Burgermeister guy. I want a burger. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to find the mayor. Oh shoot. <gasps> is it Ned? What did you do to Ned? Hi, Frank. I'm serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty because you have broken it. Oh no. Is he really upset? Oh, I've never no. seen him this upset before. Joe's working overtime to cheer him up. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. How does you he and know? I will keep an eye on Ned. I'll let you go. Bye. Catch you that's, later. That's really not good. Should I be concerned? I don't want this to be break up with Ned. Oh, what's that? Ooh. I found money! No, I feel like I haven't found money in the world in so long. I feel like we're all broke now, Trent. We can't find money in the world anymore. <laughs> I used to find like quarters order and like dollars. In. Nope. There you go. Played y'all a tune. Did y'all like that? Okay, this has this has to be his place. Right? What does I that have to say? translate that. Vor it probably says you can fall down the stairs. <laughs> Be careful. What the heck? Where is where is this guy's study? Where is your study, saw? Oh, maybe it's up here. This must oh, be here the we room go. That Carl set oh. up for me. No, this is my room. Well, we found my room. Who is this? Die Ungehelle Herrelictory Geek Latch Festival. Oh my god! Wait! 
this is a coincidence. It's March 13th. And it's March 17th right now as we play this game. <laughs> Wait, that would have been crazy if we actually played this on March 13th. Um, interesting. What is this? Oh, this is the schedule of the events. Das Monster. Cool. So that's the event that they're, that they're hosting. <laughs> What's in here? Gift shop purchases will be delivered here. Okay. There's our bed. What's over here? Oh, our desk. What does this say? Oh, these are Ned, Frank, and Marcus? Who's Marcus? Nancy? Who's Marcus? Is there something that we don't know? What is this? Oh, here this we go. This might come in handy. Our pocket dictionary. We need that. Look, you can see the light bulb. <laughs> okay. All right, well, where is this gosh darn study? Maybe this way? This place is like a maze. Oh, here it is. I found it. Burgermeister. Oh, I was hoping I could translate that. Okay. What is he doing? Oh. What the heck? You must be Nancy, yes? <laughs> the heck? That's right. I'm here to help you take care of the monster sightings. Shh, shh. There is certainly no monster, Fraulein, and there have been no Fraulein. monster sightings. Everything is fine. There is no need for alarm. We have a huge monster problem here, literally and also figuratively. The monster is huge, and it is also a huge problem. I need your help. Why are you doing that? Doing what? Talking so loudly. Who is listening in? I am the Burgermeister, Nancy. If I appear to be scared, how will everyone feel? The last thing I need is the castle newspaper picking up on how bad things are. The castle has its own newspaper? Of course. Doesn't yours? I don't really live <laughs> in a castle. How do you protect yourself from peasant uprisings? It's never really been an issue. Can you tell me a little bit about this peasant monster? Peasant uprisings? What? You want details? It's a monster. It is monstrous. Get rid of it. Please. <laughs> it's monstrous. And thank you. <gasps> I like your later hosen. I like your later hosen. Later hosen. Yes, yes. Get it out of <laughs> your system now, Fraulein. What do you mean? No one likes lederhosen. Look at these. All of these straps and hooks and what have you. It's like I can't be trusted to keep my <laughs> shirt on. Do you know how long it takes me to put these on in the morning? Nine minutes. And it's not like they look good. I look like a sad old Pinocchio. <laughs> then why do you wear them? What the heck? It's part of Marcus's barbarianization of the castle. Marcus. He wants to give tourists a more authentic experience when they come here. It sounds like you're not a fan of that idea. I grew up here. I know authentic. If he wanted authentic, he should have come to me instead of stuffing the castle full of idiotic tourists. Uh, no offense to you and your fanny pack wearing loud talking country people. It sounds like you don't like tourists. What's wrong with fanny packs? We have no business having tourists here. It isn't right. What's wrong with fanny packs? I know those darn peasant uprisings. Earlier, you hid some things when I came in. <laughs> Were they dolls? Fräulein, these are not dolls. Okay, what are those collection items? items. These collector are injection-molded, professionally-crafted, physical, tactical, multi-directional, place-holding avatars. Nope, still don't get it. <laughs> Therefore, a fully immersive, strategic, map-inclusive campaign tabletop set I've built. Okay, I know those words, but that is the extent of what I took away from that sentence. You Americans would call it a game. Oh, yes, we would call it that. <laughs> but that is because in the rest of the a world, game. games are not taken seriously. Here, we take games very seriously. Very seriously! That is why German board games are the best in the world! Okay, are they? They are? Yes, they are. 
Just so you know, many of the most popular games throughout the world actually were created in Germany. And now I'm working on creating a new game. When it is done, it's going to turn the strategy world on its ear. Which now that I think about it, as an expression, does not make a great deal of sense. Why is that? Because why would it be on its ear? This is preposterous. <laughs> No, the other thing. Why is this game so important? You'll have to see. Tell me your play. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty great so far. Oh, At least that is what I think. But you should be sure to tell me what you think. Don't All be shy. Right. I can always use constructive criticism. Should I chat? Should I play his little game? Don't judge Nancy. Let the man have his dolls. I know, right, Nancy? Nancy is so... You mean in this one, J Fox? Can you not put the kiss face, kiss eye emojis in chat? It makes me really uncomfortable. As I have a boyfriend, I don't like that. Germans do have all the party games. He's not lying. Scopa two point. This is literally what I was thinking of. Scopa two point oh. Sure, right, I'd see. love to. German Scopa. Right. It's called Raid. The game is very Raid? simple. It's just about using the best strategy and, of course, finding the coolest looking character. Ready? Okay. I'll play blue Maybe. if you Hi, play the other two colors. Oh, excellent. Let's do easy for now. Just so I can learn. Okay, so I'm green. Oh. Fairy trigger? Okay, I'm not really sure what just happened. So... He landed on this, and then they had to, like, duel, I guess. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to choose who to fight. Okay, I guess this card. Oh, no, I get to take a card. Oh, okay. I don't know if my goal is to get rid of all of their cards or not. Oh, okay, so they want to go up against me. So... Uh, I don't really understand who to choose. I don't really understand the numbers. Because they all have different numbers, so I don't understand. Is it because he landed on the orange? So maybe I should do a high orange number? Let's do this one. Enchanted mirror. Oh, it's the same thing! Okay, so we both win, I guess? Okay. They didn't? Oh wait, here's the game rules. Oh my god, here. <laughs> Alright, this would help. <laughs> Cause I'm like, wait, what? One game board with built-in spinner, three pawns, 65 cards. Booster packs are available. Okay, each player is dealt three cards. Randomly pick a player to go first. Player spins the spinner and moves their pawn forward, the number shown. The color of the square the player lands on determines the next action. Oh, okay, so red means challenge using strength. Blue means challenge using magic. Green, challenge using health. And orange is challenge using wisdom. Purple means steal a card from any other player who has two or more cards. If no other player has two or more cards, no steal will occur. White, move forward to next white square. If player landed on white square closest to the castle, player remains on that square. Black, move back to previous black square. If player landed on the black square closest to start, player moves back to start. Okay, squares with the heart. Player gains a card from the deck, then follow action of the color of the square. Okay, right, because I landed on an orange heart. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, squares with the little flower icon. Player pick a card from their hand to return to the deck, then follow action. Okay. Player is allowed up to eight cards in their hand. How to challenge. If the player lands on a red, blue, green, or orange square after spinning the spinner, they must challenge another player to battle. The color of the square determines the character's stat used in the battle. Okay, distance forward slash backwards, six, nine. Okay, so I was right about the colors. 
Player chooses an opponent to challenge and then picks a card from their own hand with which to battle. The opponent chooses their own card and both cards are revealed. The card with the highest ranking in the challenge stat is the winner. Oh my god, I was so good. I already knew how to play. Player wins. Player moves their pawn forward the distance shown on their challenge card. Okay, so I can't remember what mine was, but okay. Opponent wins. Player moves their pawn back. Uh, distance shown on their opponent's challenge card. Okay. Player remains on the current square. The challenge cards are then discarded. Both players draw a card from the deck to replace the ones used in battle, and the turn ends. Next player then spins the spinner to start their turn. Entering the castle. Player prepares to enter the castle by either landing exactly on the last red square for a challenge or by spinning a number which would move their pawn past the red square. If their spin would move the pawn past the red square, the final red square, they must still stop on the square and challenge any other player. If they lose the challenge, they must move their pawn back as per normal challenge play. If, they're, if they win the challenge, they enter the castle, win the game. Okay. All right. So I'm here. Okay, so am I battling against this guy? Okay, he landed on orange, so I need another high-level orange. Okay, so this one. Professor Sparrow. Let's see if I win. Oh, I did win. Yay, so that means I go back five and he goes back three. Okay, I did it. I do understand, right? Wait, I thought I was supposed to go forward. Player moves their... Player movers moves their pawn four. the distance shown on their challenge card. Oh, I guess I didn't challenge them, so I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Your lo younger sister loves the Nancy Drew games, really? <laughs> this isn't bad. I, I, I like this. I like these kind of board games. It's not bad. I'm a Nancy veteran. Oh, wow, I got five. Oh, <gasps> white! Yeah! Look how far ahead I am! Oh, they have to go back. Oh, that sucks. Ooh, that sucks. <laughs> All right. Oh, they're going to challenge me. Okay, so they landed on green. Do I have any high-level green cards? Not really. This one's eight, though. We'll try eight. No, I lost. I have to go back three. No. Or wait. No, they go forward. Because, oh, right, because I lost. Okay, okay. Never mind. Yeah, yeah I don't have to go for or go back. <gasps> I got an extra card. All right, let's challenge this guy. Uh, this is red. So let's see. We have 15. Ooh, let's do, should we do the fairy? Oh, the fairy is 12. An eccentric old fairy. Fairy trigger bri brandishes her magical remote control to manipulate objects and people her victims lose all motor control when under the power of her remote <laughs> what the heck what is that card that's funny all right let's do this one <laughs> fairy granny oh i win all right but i only go forward two that sucks i get an extra card oh i got another fairy card <laughs> All right, they're gonna go up against each other. Who is this third person? This is me and Burgermeister. Who's the third person, a ghost? Or is it the monster? Hi, Otto, good morning. All right, uh, who did you, okay, you landed on orange. Okay, let's see. Okay, this one's 13, so let's do this one. Oh, I won. <laughs> I go up three. Or no, he goes back five. I can't keep track of that. Wow, look at all the fairies I have. <gasps> Green. Oh, I have to lose a card. All right, let's lose. Oh, God, which card should I? Maybe one of the fairies. I have enough fairies. Okay, let's, um, let's go against this guy. All right, uh, or maybe I should have gone against this one. I should have gone against that one, shouldn't I? All right, it's green. Oh no, this is my highest green. 
Oh no, I lost. That was... Oh, I did it. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I go up eight? Wow, I go up eight. I think next time I want to go up against this person because this person doesn't have very many options to choose from. All right, I'm going up against... Okay, is it green? Oh no, not again. Okay, let's try this one. I win! I go up five, I think? Or... No. Dang it, I can't keep track. Ah! Thank goodness this does it for me. Oh, wow. He got to... Wow, he's far ahead now. All right, where am I? Okay. Okay, all right, let's fight this guy. Blue. We have 11, 4, 13, 13, and 12. Okay, let's use a fairy. I win! Woo. Top tier sound effects, as usual. <laughs> oh, he stole a card! Gosh darn it. Yeah, fight against that guy. That guy has too many cards. Dang it. He won. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, he won. He's right here. Well, he's so far. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> okay, I'm blue. What does blue do again? Oh, challenge. All right, let's challenge this guy again. All right, blue... I have eight, 11, four, and 12. Let's do 12. Ooh, I win. That was really close though. I only go up two though. It's smart to go up, a good, go up against the one card guy because he can't, he doesn't have many options to beat you with. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna go all the way to the white. He's catching up. Oh my gosh, there's so many black squares. No. Oh wait, it just goes back here. Okay, that's not bad. Full hand, no more cards allowed. Holy cow so many okay he's gonna challenge me blue okay okay let's do this one wait yeah <laughs> no I lost oh no I have to go wait what do oh he goes up he goes forward okay I get in the hang of it all right come on one uh, okay what does green mean again Challenge, right? Okay, challenge you. Let's do, oh my God, I do not have very many good ones. Let's do this one. Oh, I won. That means I go up five? Okay, I'm on that red square. What do I do now? Hold on. Player, Pairs enter the castle by either landing exactly on the last red square or by spinning a number. If their spin would blah, 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 blah. Okay, what do I have to do? Do I have to do a challenge? Oh, I have to challenge this person? Okay, what did they land on? Green? Oh, God. Okay, let's do... Well, that's the only one I can do. Let's do this, I guess. Oh, it's tied. Means nothing happened. Okay, they landed on a red. Okay, I'll do this fairy. Oh! <laughs> Tied again! Can't get me. Alright, how does this work? Okay, I have to choose red again. We'll do the corn canyoneer. <laughs> no! 
We tied. What is who is that guy? <laughs> Dang it! I guess I have to win a challenge to get in the castle. Oh shoot! They're all catching up, chat. I'm screwed. <gasps> oh no! He looks like he's from the last Nancy game. He does. Okay, he went back. That's good. Okay, come on. We got this. Alright, I landed on red. Surely I can win this with a 12. Surely. Surely. Oh, I did win. What happens now? I'm the winner. I got nice the count. Yeah! I did it! I didn't like it. <laughs> oh my god. I'll say I loved I it. I loved it. <laughs> I knew it. I said to myself, Carl, this is the one. This is a game that's going to put you on the map. Here, take this for your trouble. Oh my god, I won something. I won money. Thanks. I won money. Yay. Okay, uh, let's see. Who's Lucas? Who's Lucas? Lucas is Who's the castle's Lucas? other monster. What do you mean? He's the head of security's son, so he's always wandering around, meddling, talking, endlessly talking, chattering away about some inane thing. It never ends with that one. How could someone who knows so little talk so much? The talking is more annoying than all of the pranks. <laughs> uh, I don't want to play more. Can you catch me up on what's been happening? Can you catch me up on what's been happening with these monster sightings? The castle is emptying out. I've never seen people be this nervous. You've got to get to the bottom of this quickly. What has happened with the monster so far? I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering herbs after a rainstorm. She dropped Earth? her basket, and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away. Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? You can try, but good luck with that. She's bolted her door, and she hasn't come out since that night. Come to think of it, she you bolted. should leave her alone. I just want to ask her a few questions. That's odd. I know exactly what you want to do, and I'm telling you that you need to leave He's her alone. He's not helping alone. me with my I'll snooping. I'll let you go. Bye. Bye He's Nancy. not telling me anything. Only that just what, like, hearsay, pretty much. What's this? Oh, that's bad. Look at that mess. I want you to put everything exactly the way it was. Sorry, I will. It uh, looks like I'll need to get the trays to their original levels. Oops. What the heck? Chat. What did I do? Oh, this is pretty close. Alright, what am I what am I doing? I'm literally just guessing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so close. Have I ever played one of the mini versions of Oregon Trail? Uh, maybe when I was younger? I don't, uh, the thing is I can't remember it. And if I did play it, I don't think I ever like beat it. Why, was that one of your favorite games as a child ice climber? All right, let's see. So magic is blue. Pretty heavy though. But then you can like make it. Hmm. I don't know what I'm trying to like do here. Oh! 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 It's so close! It's so close! Dang it, it's so close. Uh, 
monster do, the, do these all have to like add to a number so like monsters orange so 14 plus one plus one three plus four plus 15 do you think that's what this is trying to do i don't really understand it I really like the second edition, but the third edition had a lot of problems. I have never played four or five. I wish that I have. I mean, I'm sure you still can some way. No one ever beat Oregon Trail. Oh, they did. They didn't. What was? I don't even remember the game. How do you even play that game? Like, what kind of game is it? I know I'm so bad at these puzzles too. Uh. I'm so close though, y'all can see this, right? Does like moving them in the in a specific order change like how heavy they are? You die of dysentery, that's how you play Oregon Trail. <laughs> Thank you, Warden. Uh, I beat the OG Oregon Trail on floppy disk. I seriously do not understand how to do this puzzle. There's gotta be a logical. There's gotta be a logical sense. It's so close! I don't know. Do y'all have any idea, chat? Should I like try to calculate? Let's see. Maybe I should start like adding? Let's see, okay. 12 plus 13 plus 13? This one's 38 if I add up 12 plus 13 plus 13. Mm. All right, 13 plus five plus 14. This is 32. Okay, this might start making a little sense. Okay, six plus 11 plus seven. This one's 24. So, what if we, <laughs> I don't know, what if we switch these two? Not really. Do you think that makes sense to like add them up so they're all the same number? That's so many, that's so many different combinations though. think that's I don't know I don't think that's it there's gotta be something else it has to be something with the numbers <laughs> I know Lulu that's how I feel too when it comes and I don't think I can back out it would have it would like reset them all right it seems like you're on the right track but I don't know I know I don't know either Should I play a little bit of Nancy Drew today and then we can switch and play some supermarket simulator in the afternoon since so many people voted for it? I don't know if the people that voted for supermarket simulator are still here though. Just curious. Um, nope, that didn't do anything good. I, it's so close. I probably just have to like switch some of them around maybe. Are, switch, is switching them around even doing anything? I don't think so. This one's always on the line. Hmm. We probably have to like just switch. So not that one. <laughs> Time to show 
out for some spam. Kylie's itching to be a cashier. I just really like the game too, but I like this game as well. I just felt bad because the poll was so close. So I don't. There's gotta be a logical reason for this, but I don't under. I don't see it. I don't see it. It has to be something with adding. It's gotta be something. Something with adding. Okay, that one's too heavy. Oh, I was thinking, uh, gotta restock all that oil. <laughs> I was thinking versus not, it's a thinking versus non-thinking game. I couldn't choose, I love them both. I know, right? It is really a non-thinking game. Is the weight related to all the numbers on the cards? It's gotta be. It's gotta be, but I don't really understand because it looks like even if you switch positions, it still stays in the same spot. So, I don't, I don't get it. Do we have to add all the numbers together? Like 6 plus 12 plus 15 plus 15 plus 11 plus 1? I don't think so. Dang it, Nancy, why did you have to click off? Why did you have to click off, Nancy? Darn it. Or click this and mess it up. Maybe it's just a number with the same color as the type. Yeah, like six plus 11 plus four, but, but even then, I mean, we could try it. We could go back to my original theory. <sighs> if I do it, if I, if I try to calculate it like that, so then this one would be 12 plus 13. Oops, 12 plus 13. Oh my God, hold on. 12 plus 13 plus 13. So this one's 38. This one's 38. <clears throat> this one technically is the lowest one out of both of these. So 38. And then we got... This one's 29, so 38 and 29. And then we got, let's see, 11 plus four. And this one's 21. That doesn't make any sense because 28 and 21 being on the same level, that doesn't make any sense. You would think that this one would be higher. Apparently, they should not be even. Oh! You know what? Is it because of the lines? Oh my goodness. It's because of the lines. We have to match them with the lines. Oh! <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, let's try to get like the heaviest one then wait, wait hold on that still didn't do anything um oh here fifth this one's 15 but it's so light i don't understand that <laughs> maybe it's because like all of the is it because all of them need to be oh, okay hold on we're getting somewhere Oh my god, I'm so close. No, you're fine, Lulu. When we're stuck like this, I actually uh, don't mind it. Uh, I hadn't even seen, I know, I, I saw the lines, but I didn't think that, oh yeah, they should like add, go up to the lines, or go to the lines. Man, I had that one perfect that one time. Remember how it was like directly on the line? Ugh. Oh, it's so close. 
No, that one's that. Definitely not. Um. Oh! I can't tell if that one's on the... Ah, oh, it's so close! It's so close, Chad! It's so close! <laughs> I know! Oh, come on! It's so close already! Uh... 13 plus... Two plus here, let's see. Thirteen plus there's probably an a scientific mathematical solution. This is nineteen. Maybe change for this. Fairy's the heaviest, somehow. No. Oops. This guy is the lightest, so I want to keep him there. Okay, no. What if we substitute... Oh! That one's exactly on the line. So I think maybe we should just fiddle around with this one. Oh dang it. By fiddling around with the other ones, it moves them all. Stop it. it now question, my question is, is it supposed to be like this where the line is underneath? Or is it supposed to be hidden? I'm thinking it's supposed to be hidden. So I'm thinking this one is correct. <laughs> Why is this so confusing? Dang it. <laughs> Based on the picture I saw, it sits right above. <gasps> so this one's perfect. It's this one that's not. This one has to stay here. It must be the wrong character type. <gasps> I did it! But how the heck, yeah, how do children do this? Okay, we did it, we did it. I don't know how. <laughs> I do not know how, but we did it. Um, but now I just have to figure out what's the correct monster type. It must be the wrong character type. But how? I don't have like any... I'm so confused, guys. It must be the wrong character type. How do you know it must what's be the... the wrong character type? Well, yeah, Nancy, but how do you know the right... Right? How do you know? Is it just whoever has like the highest score in each, maybe? It must be the wrong character type. Let's try the highest score in each. Okay, so this one has the highest orange, this one has the highest blue, and this one has the highest magic. Okay, maybe that makes sense. Okay, what about this one? Okay, yes, yes, and technically this... It must be the wrong character type. No, hmm, but these are in the right area, so... Maybe we'll swap this. It must be the wrong character type. Lulu, how, how, how does logic play in this puzzle? Am I, am I just not getting it? Like, how do I know the middle ones? You mean the hero? Do you think like I have to go based off like it must be the wrong character type. Maybe I have to go based be off like what they look type. like. This guy looks like a magician. This looks like a monster. And this looks like a hero. Maybe that's it. 
so magic. I guess that guy looks like a hero. It must be the wrong character type. This looks like a monster. It must be the wrong character type. I don't know. You can group. High investment. Maybe you can group by each type. What do you mean? I can send you the answer if you want to rage. Oh, I don't want to rage quit. I'm not rage quitting, but I'm. I'm confused. I want to know like how they come up with the solution to, to this having barely any knowledge. Just the numbers. Because what I thought is if I put the high must be the wrong character type so magic is red so this one's 15 so maybe they want the highest magic on here they want the highest blue but that's also this guy this guy has both highest blue and highest magic so how do you know where he goes it must be the wrong character type <laughs> shut up nancy shut up it must be the wrong character type It must be the wrong character type. Nancy, if I hear you saying that one more time. Okay, I think I need a hint. Is it possible to give me a hint, Lulu? <laughs> is it possible or is it straight up like you just have to say it? <laughs> I can barely even read the names. And I can barely read the numbers that are right here. Oh yeah, I can read them, but they're so blurry. I can't read this one. I can give you the orange spots for each one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just, do, yeah, do that. Maybe that'll help me figure out what the hero and the magic one would be then. I feel like the bird would it be It must the be hero. the wrong character type. Maybe the rabbit would be... It must be the wrong character type. Got it. Wait, what's that? Never mind, I figured it out. <laughs> Evan, thank you for six months. I don't know how I figured that out. I literally have no idea. Carl, nine to has. Kind under well, do must din and wesengen foglistin salt Marcus. Let's translate that. I wonder what these orders he's <laughs> talking about are. Carl, no, you don't have a choice. Follow the orders given to you or else, Marcus. All right, can you? That's weird. This character has something special drawn here. This has a key. Professor Sparrow has a key. Oh my god, I'm so angry. I could have. Oh, I'm so angry. I didn't know I could back out and read the book. <laughs> uh, that took a lot longer than it probably needed to be. Stupid puzzle. There. All right, let's leave. Oh no, oh no. I don't want to answer the phone. Don't answer it. Nancy, it's Marcus. Oh. Cell phone reception is notorious up there. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. Okay. <laughs> Evan, the cheesecake tastes much better after being in the fridge overnight. <gasps> Does it, Yamasu? Bluesberry cheesecake. Don't touch the shelf again. <sighs> For real, I did not know all that was gonna happen. Jeez, talk about unlucky. 
When you found the solution, Lulu, was it saying to read the book? All right, let's go take talk to Mima. Oh, hello, Nancy. Oh, hello. I forgot her name. How well do you know Carl? Him? I know him as well as anyone can, I guess. What do you mean? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, he locks himself up in the castle. He never leaves. He's hiding from the world. Why do you think he's doing that? I don't know. Me either. What are the chances that the reason is a happy one? Probably not great. Right. <laughs> this woman is a, like, ultimate conspiracy person. Oh, man, she would love the Kate Middleton stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot. I wanted to show y'all something funny. Because you know how they said that Kate Middleton is planned to be shown, or to go, to continue her royal duties on Easter or after Easter or something? Let me show you this. I thought this was so funny. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Princess Kate on track for Easter return. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, I thought that was funny. Anyways, uh, but this lady would love Kate, <laughs> Jesus Kate. <laughs> uh, no, it's just an image of the answer. Oh, dang it. I like this grandma. What an icon. <laughs> Where are your see. favorite places to visit? The places with the best food. The people in the north are dull as mud through dirty spectacles, but they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. Oh, and in the Black Forest, they make cakes. These chocolate cakes with cherries and cream. Oh, what I Black would give forest? for one right now. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a nap near a fire. That does sound nice. That does sound nice. It is. Nice. Sweet food is. is my one true weakness in this world. It isn't great for the old teas. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. Okay, so if we want to put her to sleep, we have to give her something sweet. Okay. Good to know, guys. Good to know. Have you heard much about this monster? Let me tell you a story a friend told me. She stayed here with her family a long time ago when she was a young girl. Back then, the woods outside the castle walls were a very dangerous place. Especially for a little girl. That's why her father told her she was never going to the woods alone. This little girl? She had a small red scarf that came all the way from India. It had a parade of gold-stitched elephants all walking in a line. She was very proud of it and how far it had traveled just to belong to her. One day when she was playing in the field, a gust of wind carried the scarf deep into the woods. When the girl's older sister saw her walk into the forest, she tried to stop her, but it was too late. She couldn't catch up. Whoa. Two girls went out into the woods. One came back. What happened? There were monsters in the woods that night. Oh, did she get eaten by wolves? Hi, Steve. Thank you for the raid. Are there peasant uprisings in the woods? Maybe. What kind of monsters? Does it matter what kind? That girl never came home, never saw her family, her friends ever again. Who cares what name, what kind of monster it was? That means nothing. The story about the girls. Who is this friend who told it to you? You wouldn't know her. I'm just curious. <laughs> okay. Is she your age? Is she from here? Why won't it matter to you? Leave it alone. See? It's just a lie. It is a big fat lie. What the heck? I would totally hang out with this lady. Good food and unhinged conversations. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> For real. Hi, Tangent. Aw, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Why are you here? <laughs> I'm a traveler, much like you. I see the world. I tell stories. But why are you here now? I do not know yet. If our time together is a comedy, then I was brought here by coincidence. If our time is a tragedy, then it must be fate. Our, if our time together is a comedy, <laughs> what the heck? What did you mean when you said I was part of the story now? <laughs> You'll figure it out. You I think figure you're just it trying out, to scare me. Yeah. And if I am, is that such a bad thing? You have good reason to be afraid. Are you threatening Are me? Are you threatening me? Threatening you? 
No. <laughs> no, I'm not threatening you, Nancy. I don't know, guys. Princess Grandma to me. What do you think of Anya? You ask me? She should be in charge of this castle. She's smart. She's strong. She actually understands the history of the castle. Why is that important? When I'm here, I try not to tell the stories of what has happened at this castle. Why not? Fate has a cruel habit of digging in its claws when tempted. But I will say this. In the event of disaster, I'd rather have Anya in charge than Karl. Dang, Anya's the lady with the book sh or the gift shop. Why right? don't you tell stories about the castle when you're here? This land, this castle, has known more than its fair share of misery. There is a saying from where I'm from. When death goes to take a ride, he follows the road that serves him best. If that's what you believe, why are you here? My affairs are mine alone. And anyway, a good <laughs> storyteller knows to leave the big reveal for the end. The way she what talks, if I don't want a story? My affairs what if I just want to alone. know why you're here? You're very persistent. I was right to like you. Still, my life's work is words. I know them well. When to speak. More importantly, when to stay silent. Ugh, okay. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye. I shouldn't do this right now. Oh, we need to put her to sleep to look through her bag. Okay. Oh, no, not again. Nancy, it's Marcus. Call me back on the landline. Oh, okay. All right, Marcus. Hold on, Marcus. We need to get to my room, Marcus. I forgot where my room was, Marcus. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, I can just click his name. Ghost Marcus fingers. Here. Hi, it's ghost Nancy. ghost pressing buttons. So, what's everything look like at the castle? Have you got everything under control? So far. Great. I'm on my way down. I'm about four hours away, but I'll try to be here if you need me. Thanks again for helping me out. It'd be great to have the whole thing tied up by the time I get in. I'll do my best. That's what I'm expecting. I'm bringing some foreign investors to the castle tomorrow. Four big money, hours? big time investors. I, I mean like stupid rich. Like, happy birthday, I got the town in France you wanted, rich. I want everything tied <laughs> up with a neat bow. Sign, seal, delivered stamps, the whole hundred yards. You're like my personal stylist here. You gotta make me look good. Stylist? I'm here to get rid of the monster, right? Nancy, business is built on metaphors, fast talking and self-aggrandizing anecdotes. Like the time the Prime Minister told me that my yacht was fantastic. Right. I knew you'd be a fast learner. That's my favorite type of learner. Favorite of a car, too. You prove yourself to me in this case. I see big things in your future. Look at me. I started as small like you. Now I've got four houses. Three in Berlin and one somewhere. Told my realtor to surprise me. Really should track it down someday. Also, I own a castle, but you know that. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine being so rich that you can just buy stuff like that? Like, wow. Imagine owning a house. What can you ah! tell me about Anya? Anya's Anya always has been. I was surprised to find out she was working at the castle, but that's synchronicity for you. Why were you surprised she was working here? We used to date. You and Anya? Really? Yeah, it was the tea. She didn't mention that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The breakup didn't exactly go well. Well, no, no breakup goes well, right? Then why would That'd she work real. here? Anya was pretty upset and she ended up acting a little strange. Strange how? It's not really, it, it wouldn't be very gentleman-like to get into what went on. Let's just say she is the reason that I make sure my shoes are tied before I break up. Wait, what happened? Oh, I'm just being dramatic. It was rough. We got through it. When I find out she was working at the castle, it was weird at first, but stranger things have happened. Look, Anya and I have had our problems. But in business, skill comes first. She's very good at her job, and customers love her. That's good enough for me. Eh? That's weird. Why would you own? Why would you work in a place that your ex-boyfriend owns? So he owns the castle, but he doesn't run it. He lets uh the mayor guy run it, and everybody else are just like employees. Is that right? Hi, Roll. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Y'all, oh, you have to clean and do chores. Well, hopefully that's speedy for you. 
Slowly plotting revenge. That's what I was thinking, right? What do you think of Carl? Uh, he's not my ideal manager, but he does an adequate job. Oh, when he's not working on that game of his, that is. You're the one who broke up with Anya? <laughs> we keep asking yes, about him. Yes, I'd rather him. not get into the specifics, okay. but I did end the relationship. What do you know about Renata? Interesting. Nothing. Is that a person? Yes, she's a traveling storyteller. Oh, okay. I'll add that to the list of things that you seem to think that I need to know. That was rude. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? No, other than that it was a terrible timing, which is rude, by the way. I don't deal with these sort of things. I, I hire people to do it for me. I'm big picture, Nancy, like, like a dinosaur's yearbook. I don't do small print. Okay. Why doesn't everybody want to tell me about this monster? Have you tried Carl's game? It's odd. No, 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 no. I do not play games. But if I did, I would not play them with Carl. Why do you insist that everyone dress up? The castle isn't a hotel, Nancy. I, I'm not renting out a room. I'm providing an experience. I want our guests to create memories that they'll never forget during their visit here. Like seeing a monster? Are you implying that I'm behind the monster sightings? Well, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, it is so far out of the realm of possibility that it has crossed the sea of you are wrong and landed in the realm of ludicrous accusations. But I do admire your thoroughness. Good hustle. Okay. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Should you we later. call Ned? Should we call Ned? Then what break? Probably. Okay. Hello, you've called Ned's telephone. Please leave a telephone message. He didn't answer. All right, let's call Frank. Wow, he's ghosting me. Hi, you get in touch with Ned yet? I've tried, but I can't get past his voicemail. Well, Joe's been keeping him company. That's good. Ugh, relationships. Tell me about it. It's funny that I'm more comfortable tracking down some dangerous saboteur than I am having one of those relationship talks. Nancy. <laughs> Same here. Occupational hazard, I guess. So, what's going on in Germany? I'm in a pretty spooky old castle, and the people here are being terrorized by a monster. What's your take on the situation? Hey, Nancy's I'm monster. not so sure. I've got a really strange feeling about this place. Well, if you need anything, give me a call. What Will happened? Do. So, at the beginning of the game, they had a fight on the phone. It was literally like, so Ned had planned like this really romantic getaway or vacation or something with Nancy and Nancy's like I can't go I'm busy and being so sassy about it and he's like well what do you want me to do like just stay at home alone and she's like well, I don't know you just figure it out like it's do something you know I was like oh my god Nancy's the Nancy's the monster in this I am siding with Ned Nancy's in the wrong here. If Ned comes and apologizes, and Nancy's like, thank you for your apology. I gonna, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, you ungrateful witch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's like, I don't know. It was weird. Hi, ass. Good morning. But anyways, that's what happened with her and Ned. So it was like crazy tea been spilled and now he won't answer her calls ah! i could really use some money money try seeing if there is anything you can oh. do for the people around the castle <laughs> you know what next time somebody asks me for money i'll be like try to see if you can go help around people their house <laughs>
that's that's a great way to put it. <laughs> Just go see, go ask people around the castle. Go ask people around your house <laughs> for money. <laughs> see how that goes. The people here seem Nobody's to think that the same money, monster has been attacking the castle for years, maybe even centuries. Have you ever heard of anything like that before? Interesting. Well, nothing could live that long. Maybe it's a handy scapegoat. A scapegoat? Well, growing up, every time Joe broke something, he'd blame me. I'd do the same to him. Ah. Maybe whenever someone does something really awful, I'm they take that's advantage it. of this monster story to throw suspicion off of themselves. Or maybe. I don't know. It's true. That's, that is likely. Especially since nobody's told us anything about the monster. The people here must be scared. I can't get them to answer their doors. Really? Oh, we need to find Magda. Yeah, no one wants to talk. They must really be scared of this thing. This has not been one of my better days. What's going on? Well, Ned and I aren't getting along, and I'm in a damp castle that has monster problems, and the airline lost my luggage. Oh. Oh, that's awful. That officially qualifies as a terrible day. Anything I can say to cheer you up? I don't know. Maybe. Give it a shot. I'm sure you'll solve the case. That helps, I guess. Your luggage is probably somewhere great, like Tahiti, enjoying a nice tropical vacation. With all the traveling you do, it deserves a break. True. Thanks for the effort. No problem. Bye. Boo! That was the worst way. Oh. It's the monster! He's struck again! Quickly! Follow me to the courtyard! <laughs> A fire! What happened here? It fire extinguisher! Uh, this has never happened before! Nancy, this is different now! You better leave! No, I'm leave. gonna get to the bottom of this! <laughs> That is not a smart move. I'm going to tell Marcus How about, that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility. Let's take out the fire, dude. What the fire? I'd better find a way to put out that fire and fast. Uh. Is there a fire extinguisher? No, that was the mayor. Oh, you mean the guy we were talking to on the phone? That was her friend, Frank. We got past the gates and he had a single plant and <laughs> got caught on fire. Oh, the well! The well! The well! Duh! The well! The well! Kylie! Take a nap. <laughs> Should I have some cheesecake? Ah! Why did that scare me? Should I have some cheesecake, chat? And then have a little sit by the fire and take a nap. Ooh, the monster did some major damage out here. There's something strange stuck oh, in yeah. the door. What a peculiar looking burr. If I can find out where it's from, that could help me track the monster. Oh, so there is scratches. So it just scratched this and oh, and hurt the door. Or not hurt the door. Damaged the door. Ooh, you can hear howling. Anybody German here? I was hoping I could hit that thing. Is there anything else out here that could give us like a clue? It's too soon to leave. Maybe there's somewhere else to explore around here. Let's get eaten by a wolf. This is the creepiest doorbell ever, guys. Don't you think so? Do you have a doorbell like that? You could. Oh, we can go up here. 
Ooh, what these is this? are pretty dull, but they might come in handy. That's it. Call me back on the landline. Okay, Marcus. The heck, why do I have shears? What are the shears used for? Those are called shears, right, chat? Should I cut the plant? Why are you bothering us? <laughs> are you bothering us? <laughs> uh, geez, okay. All right, let's go back in. Oh look, there's that kid. Should we talk to the kid? Hello, small child. Hello, small child. You like my pointy shears? Um, all this talk about cheesecake has me feeling like the old lady. <laughs> I need to find sweets. We gotta figure out where Hello. sweets are. Hi, so are you the one who tried to keep me out of the castle? Probably. I think he I've started the fire. I'm Lucas. I'm Nancy Drew. Hello, Nancy Drew. Do you want to play monster? What is it? Okay, what's that? The best game ever. Game. I just got it. It's really pretty awesome. <laughs> it's Let's still play on fire. Around. We'll play two rounds, and Zavin goes to the farmer with the most live cows remaining at the end. This time, I'll be the farmer, and you will be the monster. As a farmer, I'll place all of my cows on the board. Then you get to choose three cows to become secret monsters. When you're ready, start the round. I know, more games! That plant looked too thin to be caught on fire, like, kept on fire. The fire to keep going. All right, let's choose this one, this one, and this one. Choose a cow to kill in any pasture connected to one of your monsters. Once a cow is dead, you'll need to move any scared cows or monsters in adjoining pastures to a new location. Then I'll guess which of my cows is your hidden monster. Once I'm done, it's back to you to make another kill. Be careful, because if no live cows are connected to a live monster, you'll have to skip your turn, and I'll get to guess again. Uh... When I guess correctly, one of your monsters will be killed, and I can either choose to guess again or pass. We'll continue taking turns until Dang either it. all three monsters or all the cows are dead. This seems really difficult, but okay. No! He got me again! I only have one life! Then got the me. over and we switch roles. You'll be the farmer and I'll be the monster. The second round is over when either all three monsters or all the cows are dead, making the farmer with the most survivors the winner. Let's play. Easy. me to secretly take out all the cows without him finding me. How? He chooses wrong, he kills one of his cows. 
So, yeah. Always in range of a monster. Yeah, so then you can quote kill it. <gasps> oh, I don't have to. Oh, I can move it far away. Oh, okay. connected to move, but I guess not. <laughs> oh, dang it. He killed me twice. Oh, shoot. It's because no cows are close to me. to figure out Should I pick a set? Yes. What? Oh. Uh. I'll do this set. It's a card for that game that Carl is always playing. They're pretty cool, actually. I have a bunch. I'll give you some if you can beat me at Monster. I know, die, I know. Uh, it's easier being the person finding the monster, though, than being the monster, you know? Hi, baby! Thank you! What do you know about the monster that's been terrorizing the castle? I heard that it's a forest yeti. Hmm, what's that? It's the saddest and most terrible of the monsters. It lives alone in a big cave, usually. And he gets so hungry that he thinks he's going to die. But he doesn't want to eat because he has to eat people. And he doesn't like to kill people. So he tries to eat vegetables, but they make him sick. But one day, he can't wait anymore. And he runs into the town. And he grabs up a whole bunch of people and eats them all. And he goes back to his cave. And he's so sad about all of the people he's killed that you can hear him crying and howling for miles. Lucas! Sounds kind of like that. <laughs> okay. What can you tell me about Anya? That's terrifying. She's the best. She's the most fun person in this Forest castle by a mile. Why is that? She's taught me where all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games. And she's good to talk to if you have a problem. I wish she wasn't always so busy. What's she busy doing? I don't know. Probably something with Carl. Why do you say that? They're always fighting. Interesting. Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh, yeah. Want to hear a secret? If you give Renata food, she falls asleep in, like, a second. It's really weird. What do you know about Renata? She's not so great. My dad says she's, she's lucky like me. to let her come here. She has a really reputation. Sleepy after eating. What kind of reputation? I don't know. She steals or something. No one here trusts her, and she's always trying to boss me around, stopping me from doing anything fun. How so? Does she stop you from bugging Carl? She's just in the way. I don't like her. You must have a reason for not liking her. You ask too many questions. Okay, well, fine. No, 
Nancy, what happened? You look very sad. <gasps> it's my boyfriend! It's my boyfriend. Well, you can always talk to me about it. Us girls have to stick together. Oh. Thanks. Uh... I need some boyfriend advice. I need some boyfriend advice. You came to the right place. I think I need to apologize, but at the same yes, time, you he needs to let me live my life. That Of course, is... I want him to be a big part of it, but I don't know how to explain that. Uh -huh. Well, luckily, this one's easy. For me, at least, as the advice giver. Tell him exactly what you just told me. That's it? That's it. Talk it through. Relationships are like plants. They grow stronger if you talk to them. Eh, that one works better in German, I think. Thanks. I'll give it a shot. I know it will work. Oh, when I was your age, I had the most wonderful boyfriend. The whole world was always just so perfect when we were together. There's nothing like love to bring order to a scattered world. Hopefully she's not talking about Marcus. What do you think of Renata? I love her stories. Sometimes when she comes, the two of us stay up until the sun comes up, just chattering away about this and that. You ask me, her reputation is completely undeserved. What reputation? It's... it's difficult to explain exactly. What do we buy sweets? She's... A <gasps> lot of Look people at this. say that wherever she goes, bad fortune follows. Do you think that? Not really. But she does always have peculiar timing. Come to think of it, whenever the castle gets to talking about the monster, she's not far behind. Really? Do you think she has something to do with the monster sightings? I'd be surprised. But then again, no, never mind. It's nothing. What? Okay. I shouldn't be telling you this. One time when she was here, and again everyone was all worked up about the monster, and she told the stories that scared everyone who listened half to death. So later that night, when everyone was locked in their houses with the windows shut tight, I caught her snooping around the castle. What, what was she doing? That's just the thing. I couldn't figure it out. She didn't come back for a long time after that. Actually... That was the last we heard of the monster for a while, too. That's not suspicious. Kind of looks like the mural made by that guy who was in love with Nancy in the other games. Oh, yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. This was, like, one of the puzzles. I can't remember which Nancy Drew game we had to do, but it was one of those puzzles where you had to, like, slide. You remember? Like, one was missing, and you had to, like, slide to, like, get it to look like that. I can't remember which game that was, though. So, how did you get such a cool job? I get asked that all the time. It's really fun here and pretty competitive. I got my job by working my way up and managing smaller households and attractions in the area. Then one day there was an opening. I turned in my resume and crossed my fingers. Did you and Marcus date? Yes, but that was a long time ago. Were you too serious? We were, or at least we thought we were. <laughs> You know how it is. But that's all in the past now. We chat every now and again for work, but that's about it. Mm, okay. You've got some great stuff in here. Is any of it for sale? Of course. This shop is very popular with tourists. Most everything is for sale. You'll find the prices listed. <gasps> Can you tell me a little about Lucas? Has he been bothering you? Be honest now. A little. A little. Very sorry about that. He's my nephew. His father's the head of security here, so oh. Lucas has pretty much got the run of the place. Although, that goes to his head now and again. Don't let him pester you too much now. And let me know if he's bothering you. So Will that's do. his aunt. He's got too much energy for sure, and he's a little too smart for his own good. Why did he just but say a that? Good kid steal. Why didn't he just say that was his aunt? That was weird. So Marcus is okay with you working here? He wasn't at first, but he asked around and found out I do a good job. We both decided to be mature about it. Do you believe there's a monster on his way here? What do you want me to say, Nancy? I can't answer anything like that at work. 
Please, I won't tell anyone what you say. <sighs> I do. It's stupid, I know. But there is something terrible out there. I can just feel it. We all can. It's taken everything I've got to stay here through this. Jeez, how many questions can I ask this woman? What's the glass display? What's with a glass display? Ah, oh, you noticed. Glass blowing tradition is very strong in the areas around Bavaria. We do quite a bit of glass blowing here ourselves. Normally we have demos, she knows but too it's been much. so hectic she here does. the last few days, we'd have to stop them for the moment. You make glass here in the castle? Oh, yes. I wish you could see it. Glass is everyday magic. Out of all this power and fire comes something delicate and strange. It's sad how easy it is to forget mm. just how odd and beautiful a simple piece of glass can be. I guess so. It's one of the old things. Renata is always saying the old things are the best. Do you think she's right? Sure, I guess. She might be right. But you could also say that the monster is also one of the old things. All right, let's ask about jobs. I'd like to buy some souvenirs, I money. but I'm low on money. Any idea how I could make more? People are always dropping coins around the castle. Oh, and Carl has been offering to pay for people's help on that silly game of his. Oh, there we go. Can I see the glass Can shop? Can I see the glass shop? Oh, sorry. It's locked until everything settles down. Only Carl and I have keys, but we're both too busy to supervise anyone down there at the moment. Sorry, Nancy. See you later. See you later. So much for buying anything. Wait, how much is that? 49? This is so odd. I don't understand that. Oh, here we go. These are the different types of monsters. Doppelganger, Nixie. Interesting. I came to see the creature and all I got was this lousy teacher. <laughs> Oh, here's some postcards. What is this? Oh, <gasps> dessert! Oh my god, perfect. All right. What should we give Mima? Should we give her cake or this? I think this is apple strudel. Hi, Mac. Good afternoon. The strudel. Should we give her the strudel? Let's give her a strudel. This is a very interesting... I would like my apple strudel to be delivered to me in a barn from a barn with this guy <laughs> wheeling it out to me. What the heck? Okay, all right, let's go. Let's go to the old lady now. Wait, did I go in here? Oops. Oops, oops. Oh no. Nancy, I think we need to talk. Ned, I'm so glad you called. Uh oh. Ned, you know the truth is I'd love to have you here with me instead of all the way at home. I feel the same way, and I know that. Just forget it sometimes. Oh, Ned, you don't need to change. Me. I like you just the way you are. I get what you said some thought, but I think I'm spending too much time waiting for exciting things to happen to me like they do for you. After we got in the fight, I did a lot of thinking. Me too. And I came to a decision. I may not be an internationally known sleuth, but I'm happy to have one in my life. And maybe it's time for me to be a little more daring. I'm happy to hear that. I'd have you along on my adventures any time. That means a lot. Thanks, Nancy. It's true. Well, maybe one day we'll work together on a case. You Ooh. might be right. Wait, really? I'd better start working on my sleuthing. Sorry, the connection is bad. I'll call you back from the landline. Oh, yay! They made up! They made up! They made up, Chad. They made up. That makes me feel better. I have to translate that. 
stairs ahead. Okay. Do they ever see each other? See, that's a really good question. I don't know. I don't think so. Right? Oh, I forgot where the grandma is. Where's the grandma, guys? This place is like a maze. I can't remember where to go half the time. Oh, here we go. Here's the grandma. Here, Mima, I got you some food. Yes. Would you like some food? Would you like some food? Oh, that looks so good. Thank you. Is she talking to herself? Is she going to fall asleep? Nancy. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye, Nancy. I thought she goes to sleep. Do I have to leave and then come back? What? They're a liar! She didn't fall asleep at all! I shouldn't do this right now. Dang it, maybe it wasn't sweet enough. Maybe we have to like put her in a food coma or something and give her more food or something. Cuckoo apple strudel delivery. <laughs> They're effectively long-term, pretty much. You forgot the drugs. The drugs. All right, uh, let's go back to her room. <gasps> oh. I better find something else to wear. Freaked me out. I really wish I had my suitcase. It's okay. The heck? All right, let's call Marcus real quick. Do I just get pranked? I guess so. Stupid Lucas. Marcus here. Do you believe that the monster could be real? I have to go real? buy that shirt. If it is, I know a guy who will pay through the nose for movie rights. That didn't exactly answer my question. Didn't it? I'll let you go. Bye. Did he See not tell me to message or to call him? Maybe it was to get me into the room to be pranked. Nancy, how's it going? He's he's doing this with Lucas. So, what can I expect from the new and improved Ned? Well, I'm not sure. I'm still in the planning stages. I think maybe I need an edgier presentation. Get a motorcycle, maybe. Stay out past 10 p.m.? Return library books at the wrong branch? Oh, no, no, that might not be the solution. Don't forget, I like you just the way you are. There you go. And you'll like new Ned even more. Once I settle on just what that will involve, maybe I could get a hobby. Not a bad idea. It's really strange spending my time with you and Frank and Joe. You guys always have such great stories to tell, it makes me feel like I live a pretty boring life in comparison. You guys are always like, remember when we were chased by that abominable snowman that really turned out to be an international art thief and also a spy? My best anecdote from this last year is the time I accidentally said something horrible in Italian to the waiter at the pasta place. Yeah, what you said was pretty unforgivable. I had no idea. I'm just teasing. It was just a misunderstanding. Ned's and having anyway, a midlife you have great crisis. stories about school and football. It's not the same. It'd be nice to stumble across a nice mystery now and again. It doesn't exactly work that way. Maybe, but maybe I've just not been looking hard enough. I'll let you know what I find. You know what I find so odd about this conversation? One, it's just too real, I feel. <laughs> like, it's weird having, like, issues with Ned. But also, anytime we call and ask him for help, he knows exactly what to do. So why does he have to work on sleuthing? He's already an expert. We, as Nancy, have to ask him for help. So, like, what? See, look. I could use your help with my case. Sure. What's going on? Okay. Long story short. Wait, let me guess. You're in Germany, so you're probably in a castle. And if you're in a castle, there's probably some sort of a problem. Exactly. If I had to guess, I'd say a monster and an eccentric German board game expert. You were keeping tabs on me, weren't you? Of course I uh. was. I know you're capable of solving these cases on your own, but I still worry a little bit. Especially when you're so far away. Frank kept me up to date on everything that's going on. I'm oh, not okay, that's how he knows all that. <laughs> but still, like, what? Ned's gonna buy a Porsche, become a DJ, and start dating a model? He better not. Ned is having a midlife, midlife crisis in his 20s. Is he 20? 
Self-esteem issues? Suspension of disbelief? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe self-esteem issues. I could really use some hints. <laughs> oh, like I installed 12? something on your phone for just the occasion. It's called the Hit Hotline. It can help you even better than I can. Even what? better? <laughs> I doubt that. Really? It can show you pictures and do all sorts of neat things that I can't. Pictures? Apparently, Anya and Marcus used to date. Anya and the castle's owner? Yeah. She seemed really reluctant to talk about it. It might be a sensitive subject for her. I think it might be. She seems a little upset still, but I think it's in the past for both of them. Well, if that's the case, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> He's a virus whirly. Thanks, <laughs> lady. Install something on our phone. Guess he did it to track us and he's he's what the heck he did it to track us uh but is it's under the guise of hint helper hint hotline how do i use hint hotline hints will appear as needed during the game some puzzles have more than one hint shears i need a clue for sharpening the shears Find the glass hot shop. Ask Anya about the glass display. Okay. What about bells? What do I do with the bells? Search for something that will help you play the correct notes. This is so odd. This is so odd. This is weird. I don't like this hint hotline. I don't like it, chat. I am totally changing this wallpaper. Oh, the Bahamas. Why is the sand pink? Oh, there's Waverly. Oh. Why do we have a picture of her? Let's do Waverly. All right, we need to get a change of clothes. So I let's... need to change into some dry clothes first. But I don't. But you don't have any. Unless, like, where? Oh, what the heck, Nancy? For you to put on. What? Now I look. Like, I'm from Germany. I got a cute dress on now. Wait, that's cute. What's a glass hot shop? Um, well, Anya was telling us about the shop and how they sell glass. But, uh, here, let's confront this kid. Ah, what are you wearing? You look like you're in a cartoon. Your outfit is pretty weird, too. It is? I thought it was pretty cool. That's what you get. Oh, no, it it's cool. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, wouldn't kill us have a wallpaper of our boyfriend <laughs> that we never see? <laughs> Do we even know what Ned looks like? You have a point there, B8. <laughs> it's true. Why don't we have a photo of Ned? Uh, why would you leave a bucket of water over my door? I'm only allowed to watch two hours of television a week. I've got a lot of time on my hands. Oh my god, so it was him! Why are you always pranking Carl? I tried with everyone else, but they're not good at noticing. Carl is, though. He notices everything and gets all crazy and red when you mess with him. Have you seen all of the cool stuff he has in his office? When I get to use it, I'm going to build a small version of the castle with all the secret passages. Oh, secret passages? I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the secret passages? Where do they go? I can't tell you. They're secrets. Plus, there are a few places here that I'm the only one who knows where they go. Man, I feel like this is like the Bye. most talkative Bye. one. 
Goodbye. Hello. Did you leave this costume out for me? No. Someone must have left it out for you for the festival. It looks great on you. Huh. What? Oh, that dress. It just looks really familiar. I wonder where I've seen it before. So it on the... What? What the heck? Uh... Thanks, see you later. I guess I can't Bye. ask her about it anymore. Oh well. Oh, I guess this is... Hmm, I don't know what to do with this. Okay, alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, I haven't even used my to-do list. Check. Still have to do that. Explore can't the well. Can't check that off yet. Find a light to see, haven't to see done down yet. the well. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Explore the foyer? I haven't done That's that. That's done. Check. Haven't done that. Did that. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Find a way to sharpen the shears. Find a str Wait, find out where the strange burr came from? Oh, right. Uh, where's the decode the paper thing? Where was the paper thing again? I can't remember. What have I not explored? Also, I need a light for the well. The heck? Since when? Oh. What's this? What the heck is that? A socket? <laughs> I wonder what's down there. Hello? You know what would be super creepy is if it was like an Easter egg or something of that scary Japanese doll thingy that was in the Japanese game if that came up from the well. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would be good. <laughs> like literally, she just... It's literally just her coming up instead of the bucket of water. <laughs> uh, ooh, money! Ooh, I found money! Where's that old lady? Wait, not here. Also, where's that guy again? I think we need to go talk to him. This looks just like the picture in the raid guide. There must be something special about this painting. Yeah, I remember there was a key! What a strange place to keep a key. We're just gonna take the key from him while he's still in his office? <laughs> okay. What are oh. you doing? Oh, sorry. Interesting. Interesting. Is there anything else? I guess I stopped looking because I had to do that stupid puzzle. Nancy, glad you're here. Big news! The International Board Card and Dice Commission has announced that they will be accepting new games for review. That means I can send Raid in! That's great news. Only... What? I am... So I he had a key in the book! Bad luck is a simple way of explaining it. Always have. But this doesn't seem bad. Not yet, but you'll see. Nothing good ever just happens, not in my life at least. I'm sorry you don't want to hear any more of my old man problems. I actually need your help. With what? Since you're the best raid player I've met, will you help me create a new character? I know this probably won't work out, but I want it to be perfect. Sure. Oh, excellent. Yes, I just knew you'd help. Maybe with your help, this wouldn't be such a disaster. I'd like you to help me come up with a new character. It is going to be based on the bare-skinned creature from the old tales. Should it be male or female? Female. Female. Thanks. 
Have you seen a burr like this before? Let me see. Hmm. Yes, I've seen something like that out in the woods. <laughs> Festival planning for beginners. <laughs> um. Anya mentioned a glass shop. Can you help me find a way in? She did, did she? Fine. You want to look in there? Go ahead, but stay away from the furnace. Why is that? It's a glass furnace. John it's Cena. deadly. We've had accidents. It is not for fooling around. Be very careful. You could die down there. I know. Is that all we had to do is just tell male or female? Oh, I got Thanks. the key. This thing, what is it? Why does everyone just call it the monster? Honestly, there is not much we know about it. What do you mean? You have Most of us have only the seen oven. the destruction it leaves behind. But it still seems like you would know enough about it to at least give it a name. After all this time? I heard it had a name long, long ago. The villagers, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they knew the monster. They would leave food for him deep in the woods. They were all terrified of him, of course, but so were the wolves. If they kept the monster fed, he would not bother them, and they could raise their livestock in peace. But one night, the monster broke into the castle and kidnapped the Freiherr's only daughter. He was broken-hearted and decreed that the monster be killed on sight. He demanded that the townsfolk no longer leave food in the woods. It was forbidden to speak the monster's name in town. Was his daughter ever found? No one knows. No one even knows how true the story is. It was a long time ago. But there are many stories like it that happened in these walls. I'll let you go. The old Bye. lady made you See hungry? You later, Nancy. Not my cheesecake earlier? Um, okay. Speaking of that old lady. So, these letters, do you think this has anything to do with, like, the musical instruments? I have to translate that. I have a feeling it has something to do with the musical instruments. Portrait damaged by fire in 2006. Though attempts were made to keep the portrait in its original state, some restoration work has was required. Interesting. There was a fire. Okay, no other pranks. Okay. Uh, let's go find this workshop, I guess. Do you think it's this? This? I don't know, I don't know which one. Let me in. I keep knocking. Was there a locked door inside? Oh, hold on. Maybe up here? Y'all remember which? It's a creepy sound. Do you think it's up here? I can't remember what door was locked. Stop knocking, Nancy. Just go in. Uh, was maybe it was a locked door here. Yeah, maybe there was a locked door inside here. <laughs> I cannot remember. Hmm. 
They were probably already ready to swear at Nancy. I think so. Well, Nancy. Hmm. I remember hearing something was locked, but I can't remember what, where. This. It looks like I need to match the glass pattern, but I don't have all of the pieces. Oh, I don't have all the pieces? <gasps> That's why we need to go with the glass thing. Brief history of Castle Finster. I ain't reading that. There's also the letter B here. Odd. Need a few you are here signs. That is so true. <laughs> this is the foyer. foyer. <gasps> Maybe it's over here. <gasps> this is it. 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 Even the key matches. Oh, I found it. Found it. Okay, let's take all of these tools. Because why not? This could come in handy. Oh, are these the pieces that I need for that game? Oh! <laughs> you don't have to worry about the summer time because you're not going outside for a long, long time. Whoopsies. I died. Oops, I meant to say Hi, yes. I'm Nancy Drew. This is Oh no. This is my center of <laughs> Whoops! I meant to say yes. Uh thank god that saved. Oh my god, I haven't saved in so long. Looking for <laughs> last puzzle piece. Holy cow, I could have died. I could have Oh my god, that would have gone so bad. What There's is this? No power. There's no power. Oh, money. Oh. Aha, uh -huh. that's why it's not working. Now it should oh. work. I thought maybe we need this plug. Oh, it's a grinder. Okay. That's, uh, they have auto saves. Yeah, and these newer ones, they do have auto saves. So this is, we're good. Hi, Snap. Is there anything else I can do here? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Oh, I ain't clicking that again. Okay. Ooh, money. I ah, what the? Snakes. Oh my god, this scared me! Darn it! Stupid. Stupid! Stupid! Oh, we did need to sharpen the shears. You're right. <laughs> that got me. <laughs> All right. Sharpen the shears. Man, I I am a great sharpener. I played a blacksmith game and I got A plus. Nice. Okay. What about what about my other stuff? What about I'd rather this? not do that. What about this. I don't need to sharpen that. I'd rather not do that. Okay. All right. Well, we sharpened the shears. Check. Haven't done that. Check. Why did I need to sharpen the shears, though? Still have to do that. Hmm. Odd. Do we use some... To, to like as a as a weapon against the monster or something. Yeah, to kill the monster. That's Bye, what I was Nancy. thinking. Bye. Mm. Bye, Nancy. I don't know what the shoes are for, but the hint hotline said something about the glass. Yeah. Oh, glass squares. You'll you'll need nine glass tiles first. How many do we have? Oh wait, I'm gonna buy the cake. 
I'm gonna give her the cake. Let's see if we can make her fall asleep with the cake. I need to go eat. Oh, it's also... Oh my god, it's already one. I need to go eat lunch soon. How about we give the older lady the cake? And then we can see how many glass type glass pieces I need for that glass puzzle. Maybe. Bobby. Um. Okay, so the puzzle's here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need. I think we're looking for this blue tile. But, interesting. So we need one more tile piece, which has got to be somewhere. All right, where's Meemaw? Meemaw, where are you? Gotta find Meemaw. Forgot where Meemaw is. Oh, over here. All right, Meemaw. What are you wearing, Nancy? Change out of that this instant! What's the matter? It's just a costume for the celebration. It was left in my room. Who left that in your room? I don't know. It was just there with a note to put it on. I still don't see what the big deal is. Change out of it now. No, change first. We will talk later. Let me give you your cake. All right, hold on. Let me go change or whatever. What is Nancy gonna change into her wet clothes? <gasps> what happened? Who would do something like this? Somebody ripped her clothes! What the heck? That's not nice. I think it was the old grandma. She wanted me to change. She wanted me to see my... She wanted me to see it. Why are you still wearing that? My clothes, they're gone. Someone tore them to shreds. This is bad. Who did it? I don't know. I don't even know why anyone would want Who to do it. it. <laughs> Someone thinks it's important that you look the part, it seems. Would you like some food? Would you like some food? Welcome to my world, food! There we go. That put her straight to sleep. I need to get to that box without waking Renata up. Which box? This box? <laughs> the way she looks at you. Wait, that's so funny. <laughs> Uh What? How does that make so much noise? What? That makes no sense. Well, what am I supposed to take? Oh. <laughs> puzzle no <laughs> not that one that's for sure okay well the the pin it's all physics based what do I take next this I think I'm on to something though. I think I think it was I I keep I keep actually hitting the stupid thing. Hold on. I hit yes and it makes me click on the chips right away. Okay. What did I do next? Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. rotate them oh good good question oh you can you can you can spin him you can spin him i didn't realize you could do that i think we were doing we were doing really good Yeah, maybe we already like set them, you know, at the angle. Here we go. All right, all right. Should I take this book? Okay. But how do I, should I like stack it like this maybe? Like this? What? <laughs> Why does it make so much noise? What should be the next thing? I don't understand chat. Square box? You mean this box? Brown box standing on top of the blue box? Do you mean the chips? Maybe like this? Like, like this, maybe? Okay, that didn't wake her up. Oh god. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, we got it, we got it! What is this? I need to figure out the color code to open this. How does this not wake her up? How does this not wake her up? That was so loud! <laughs> okay! What is this? The owl and the other Grimm's tales. I better this? hang on to this. Trapped and no oh way out. Awoke scared and alone, a weak light shone through the grate in the ceiling far above, barely illuminating her oh, this inn for Nancy. And nearly a door walls held no doors, no apparent way out. Panic began to overcome the girl as she realized she was trapped. Her heart raised as she cried for help. Heavy footsteps filled the room above, and the girl began to hope for rescue she called out again the steps came closer and then the grate pulled back a shadowy figure appeared in the opening above her blood curling screen left her lips as the light from above revealed the features of the monster who had caught her do you think that's how it's gonna end <laughs> all right let's save here um let's see uh puzzle by grandma grandma I think that's all I can see. There we go. Save. <laughs> Nancy Drew's logic. It's beyond me why this legit would not wake her up. Color, correct color and spot, correct color only. Oh, I understand what we have to do. 